All right, so what we have here is a homemade high-powered blue laser, custom designed by myself and machined at work with the help of a buddy of mine on a CNC mill. I'll just screw off the headpiece here, which holds the laser module assembly. I'm using a one watt axis driver on this diode on this uh, laser, but I don't recommend this driver because it's really inefficient and creates a lot of heat. Um, I've also soldered a resistor in parallel with the uh, R4 on this driver to increase the current to the diode up to 1.2 amps to produce about one watt of power. On the top here is the focusing lens. It is a glass lens also made by Axis, and all of this is press fitted into a aluminum heat sink which is also press fitted into the headpiece. It runs off of a 14500 lithium ion cell which runs about 4.2 volts when fully charged and the whole thing is machined from brass uh, which has good thermal and electrical properties so I can just use the uh, case as a as the positive to travel to the diode and then uh, the case will also dissipate any heat that is generated by the laser. So now we'll move on to some burn tests with this laser which is where the real fun begins. Laser safety glass is a must. Alright so we'll start off with a balloon. Uh, here I have a balloon and these balloons are abnormally transparent so I put a sharpie mark on so it'll absorb the the heat from the laser but so we'll turn it on here in a second. You can see it's very quick. So this time I'll turn it on first and then put the laser in or put the, the balloon into the beam. Here we go. So you can see this laser is quite powerful. So next we'll try a uh, a match. Got our standard match here. So first last light match light. Next one. <laughs> the beam is so focused uh, that it's actually lighting individual particles of phosphorus without igniting the whole match, which is kind of funny. So let me put it up closer. There we go. All right, so there's uh, matches and uh, balloons. So next we'll move on to a plastic CD case. I'm going to just stick this in the beam and see if it, it'll penetrate through the, the plastic. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's like instant. There it goes. Right through. And again. Awesome. So next we'll move on to some beam shots. I'll do indoor and outdoor. And uh, that'll conclude it. Alright, so here we are in my room. Uh, there's a little bit of smoke in the air from the matches we lit earlier. But as you can see, the beam is very, very bright. Very, very visible. Looks great indoors. Um, it's great for star punting, so we're going to go outside here in a second and show you what it looks like outside in no smoke. So, one second. Alright, we're outside here, and i got to be careful because I don't want to draw too much attention to myself, but there's no smoke in the air, and it's just a normal night. And here's what it looks like. Looks beautiful. It's great for uh, pointing up at the night sky. You can see it just goes up forever. That's, this is actually my favorite thing about lasers, is just the visible beam. I'm not too much of a burning fan, but this is just what it's all about for me. So, thanks for watching.